Hey guys, it's President Evil for Zombie. Today I'm going to show you how you can publish your Gary's Mod Map or other add-ons to the workshop. Now this is going to specifically be focused on the maps because that's how the file structure works with what I'm doing. So first off, you're going to need a few things. Uh, you're going to need the map folder that you created. Mine is called Good Build. That's what I called my map. You can really call this folder anything though, it doesn't matter. Inside of that though, because we're doing a map, we need to have a maps folder where the actual BSP file is. If you don't know how to find that, just when you're compiling your hammer map, it'll create a BSP in the game folder that you're working with. And also an add-on.json file. Now, I'll put a link into the description uh, with how the syntax should be with this file. But basically this file just tells the workshop some information about your add-on. Mine says the title, which is GM Good Build, it's a map, and tags such as build and fun. Other stuff is pretty arbitrary unless you're working with that. I really don't need this part, but I just have it. So I'll include that in the description. But for a map, that's all you'll need. You'll need a maps folder with the BSP and the add-on.json file. For your workshop items icon, you're going to need an icon.jpg. It needs to be called that, I believe, or at least that's what I call it. And the resolution should be 512 by 512. Just go in Photoshop and put a screenshot in or something and resize it to 512 by 512. This is going to be the icon that you see when you browse items on the workshop. And that will pop up. So, to actually make this into a workshop file, you're going to need to turn it into a GMA. To do that, Go to your Gary's Mod folder. Mine is installed in the G drive, so I need to go there instead of the C drive. And instead of going in Gary's Mod again, we'll go in bin. Now, in here, you'll find something called GMAD and GM Publish. Both of these will be required, and because Gary doesn't want any sort of I, b I believe it's an anti-piracy measure. Uh, you're not uh, able to use these outside of the Gary's Mod folder. Unless you copy the Steam API.dll, which I found works pretty well. So copy all of these three files to your desktop. Now we have them all here. But now because you're on your desktop, uh, oh, we'll do this first. So we want to turn this, your add-on, your map, into a GMA file. Just make sure everything's checked out. You have your maps folder, which has your map, and the JSON, which has the correct information. And if that's all you have, then you're good. You just drag it into the gmad.exe, and you'll see a GMA will be created. So you can pretty much forget about this now, because all you need to do is upload the GMA file with its icon. Now we're going to have to open up the command prompt right now and do some little bit of typing. First we need the command prompt to recognize the desktop as the default space uh, to work with because that's where all of the exes are. So instead of this directory we need to do change directory cd space and then the directory for uh, the desktop which is, let me get it really fast, you can just copy and paste it the default is local disk C users your name and then desktop. So do cd space that. Now the directory's changed to be here is default. Now what we need to do is open gmpublish.exe. So type gmpublish if I can spell dot exe space and now we're going to enter the commands that will run after it opens a program. So space create space I believe it's hyphen add-on space now we need to specify where the add-on is which is this GMA file so I'm gonna paste the desktop directory again because that's where this is and type GM good build dot GMA because that's what type of file it is and then now we need to specify where the icon is so we just type hyphen icon and then it's also in the same directory so the desktop um, icon 
jpeg. And now you can just hit enter and you'll see it's doing its stuff. It shouldn't take long if you're doing a small map. And so now it's done. It says your file is marked as private, only you'll be able to see it. Please mark it as public only when you have tested it. So now if you go to your Steam client and go to the workshop, you'll see your files. Now I have a couple things, but here is GM Good Build now. And now you can go there, you can subscribe to it and download it in game to see how it works. Um, but there are a couple of things you probably need to do before you set it to public though, such as add images. I have oops on my desktop a screenshots folder. Now you can just hit save and continue or reorder them first. That's what I need to do. And now you'll see your workshop entry has all of your screenshots there. And you can click on them and they'll enlarge and such. And also the description. Let me just type one real fast. So now you basically have your map uploaded to the workshop. All you need to do is change the visibility to public. And this is a live workshop item now. So thanks for watching. Uh, this has been just how to upload a map to the Gary's Mod Workshop.